Hello YouTube, um, this is actually going to be some sort of like a unique video actually for the first time I think for YouTube that is I am gonna try and maintain some sort of like a streaming way so we're just gonna have like a talk and talk about like how did the first day go so it's not going to have like really an aim so to speak in the long run this is just going to be some sort of like a small diary I think about like what happened today I had like one of the better streams that I have ever had uh on twitch and i've been on twitch for a very long time to be honest with you i think it's coming close to like five years obviously there has been like some on and off times uh we had about like at some point almost 300 viewers and um groom Dawn alone alone had like a very very good day as well on twitch that which is which is very amazing especially without any sponsorship creators not necessarily doing um such things so that is very good to see a lot of like big path of exile streamers were there and i'm really hoping they're going to be checking out like the end game and like the build and the in in like hardcore difficulty so that like they're going to be going at the game especially on twitch for some time to come as well i'm, I'm really expecting that um, would really love to see that to be honest with you so that like Grim Dawn gets a little bit more love for sure not, not only on, on Twitch obviously but also like in general as a game that becomes a little bit more popular so that like we can get a Grim Dawn 2 maybe even you know who knows so I want to like talk about what I wanted to do especially for YouTube actually um, I have two videos in mind I want to refresh um, actually the main thing is that there's there's a video like what class to pick that I really am not necessarily so um, happy with, obviously, with that is like one of my actually like favorite videos in the um, one of my most popular, I should say, not favorite, my bad, in the uh, in the channel. Choosing the right class, I think this one, yeah, hundred and twenty eight thousand views. Uh, to be honest with you, this is this is kind of a questionable because I didn't necessarily like manage to get what I think. I would like to say it was also like obviously two years ago but at the same time i do still have the same mentality when it comes to like how to pick the right class what i was basically trying to say in that video is like it is very simple actually like instead of you know looking at like nine things try to ask yourself like what sort of play style do you have if you have like a shield well in this case there's not so many to pick because only two masteries are supporting the shields right right now it's the oath keeper and the soldier that's all i was trying to say so try to like think about what style you would like to play and then from there you'll be able to like easily pick two classes together you know like fire and shield okay well oathkeeper is one of them the other one do i want to like support shield again you know what i mean so i want to make something like that actually that's like my biggest goal but it is a very very hard video and as i said like i think i'm being too hard on myself i don't necessarily like what i'm speaking sometimes and then i the entire thing that i worked on just like goes down the drain uh that is very easy to say but I have uh, two things in my mind. One of them is actually it's talking about the stats because there's a lot of people that are joining into uh, joining the, into Grim Dawn right now thanks to those new people that I like advertising and at the same time obviously like being the top sales on Steam on top of that like right now ARPG is on a stale place. Uh, Grim Dawn came up with like a new expansion obviously like yada yada. There's so many people jumping into Grim Dawn for the first time and everyone is asking themselves obviously like um, which stat to give. Uh, especially since I didn't necessarily cover the recent 1.1 uh, patch because like I was taking a break from Grim Dawn I didn't necessarily wanted to come uh, to YouTube just to cover that patch simply because like I was on a break anyway so I think it would be like I don't know uh, I, I wasn't nearly really, like warmed up with the game let's put it that way so I didn't want to do something half fast um, but then again in that patch they re they changed something and they made it so that like cunning and spirit is actually giving hp as well long story short and um physique is still outweighing these two but in another way these two giving hp actually like buffed a lot of classes think about it because like the only way that we gain cunning and spirit is not necessarily the way that we spend the stats but also like we gain a lot from like devotions from actually like skills components items but most importantly we are gaining a lot from masteries and these masteries they have their own unique stat gain you know what i mean soldier for instance has a very heavy physique gain for instance uh there's very heavy uh, spirit gain on like you know shaman arcanist and occultist so these are like a lot you know beefier characters now thanks to this change it's a very very good change in my opinion very good change and i wanted to talk about that a little bit and i wanted to say basically like simply put you know especially if you're a new player especially while leveling up just put everything to physique 
uh, unless you cannot hold an item in your hands. And if you like to hold this like upgrade, a dagger, like it say it says like it requires a little bit more cunning. Yeah, feel free to give it a little bit more cunning, but for the most part, like physique is outweighing. And like don't worry about it, you know. And just like uh respec at any point um later on anyways so it's not that uh, important that is one of the videos and um the other thing that i wanted to do is like what is new uh what is new and what can you expect from from the uh forgotten gardens basically like simply put i didn't necessarily make a list yet but we can definitely like talk about it right now as well it's going to be like uh obviously the new mastery the oath keeper and then obviously there's the there's the new you know act the entire act there's going to be like the new storyline and quests and obviously the entire itemization of the game is uh either newly supporting oathkeeper or there are like new items added for the oathkeeper and new sets new legendaries whatnot and then there's new constellations there's obviously new um the dungeon shattered realm you know just talk about like all these things and obviously the new mutators were like the side areas these little dungeons that we have seen before and um yeah i want to like mention all these on in a video as well but so all this entire build up came to the butt <laughs> i really want to focus on streaming quite a bit at the same time so um i think in the days to come i'm going to have this session right now what you're watching where i'm just going to be talking about like what's happened on the stream and like what i would like to do for youtube and as I have the time, I'll try to fix that video as myself as well. I actually have the thumbnails for these two videos that I mentioned. And um, I'll hopefully have some time to do them too. And uh, if you're watching from like a subscriber point of view in this video, you already like learned a lot. Anyways, like these are pretty much like, you know, in short version of like what I will be saying in these videos that I'm going to be making hopefully sometime in the future. We'll see. And whoever comes to my channel will hopefully watch this and they will see like, you know, the shorter version and it will like help them out or something. So this is what I was thinking. Today I had like the first stream of Forgotten Gods. Uh, in fact, we are right now on this tab over here. I don't want to click it right now, <laughs> but it is uploading. Um, it is uploading the uh, stream of today. Three parts, I believe, like I, I started from normal difficulty with a level one Oath Keeper. And we ended up making a shield breaker actually. That's the combination of a demo plus oath keeper. But I had in my mind it's like like I didn't necessarily like theory craft before, simply because like it was just going to make me incredibly more excited. I didn't want that to happen. So <laughs> what I did is like today, a couple of hours before the Forgotten Gods launch, I said, okay, we're gonna open a oath keeper for sure from level one, get that experience potion, you know. Just have some like 1 to 50, 1 to 60, whatever it is. Obviously, maybe even like enter the Forgotten Gods at some point, and we did. Still alive, the characters. But it was, to be honest with you, it was pretty easy content because like I didn't even start it on veteran. I just wanted to like check around the new stuff, check around the mastery, enjoy the game a little bit myself. And that's all I did. Um, and when it come, came to the theory crafting, we actually did some sort of like a shield throw guide that was like fire. Obviously, while leveling, it is fizz as well, since you cannot necessarily convert everything. Maybe at the end game, I won't even manage to convert literally everything, but I'll try to like convert all of, almost all of it to like fire and burn. As you know, if you convert something like physical trauma, and you convert like full fire, then your trauma would convert to full burn as well. And we are going to be trying to be very burn heavy too. I'm gonna like share this link, but I want you to know that like these these skills they're not necessarily like maxed out. This is not like how I'm going to be sitting. There's going to be you know me like the, this 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 character doesn't necessarily have any items at all on it. So what that means is that we're gonna have items that are giving pluses all around the place, just like my stats play style and my value. So these things are going to be like gaining a lot of value. You know what I mean? So. If I wanted to sit on like 12 over here, thanks to those pluses, I'll take away some points, I'll put it to the left. But looking at this, you can pro probably understand at the very least like what I am trying to do, you know. I'm trying to have this one a lot more than the other two. For instance, I'm trying to have these two a lot more than this one. Like the values are going to change, but you can probably understand what I'm trying to do with the build and I want to like max the fuck out of the shield throw. Um... If you would like to watch the vod, obviously, like, feel free. I I'm uploading it right now. But to talk about the very early game of Oathkeeper, it actually started pretty clunky. I'm not going to lie. 
think about it this way. We have a single target ability, just like Cadence or like Savagery, if you would like to call it. It's more of a Savagery, I suppose. Then we have a Shield Throw that's sitting on the one target, and it's sitting on 2.5 second cooldown. It started pretty clunky. And so, for, cup, for quite some time, actually, because like I ended up entering the Crucible to, to take the extra Devotion points, so that like we were going to become very strong uh, in the campaign with the 8 extra Devotion points. And what ended up happening is that during the Crucible, it was actually kind of like a nightmare because the character was very clunky for some time. When did it be start becoming quite good? And it did. Like right now, how I left the character over here, it is alive. It is ridiculously fun to play. And I'm 100% sure someone is basically going to ask, why do you have two shields in your hands? Uh, I don't want to spoil anything for anyone, but it is basically not necessarily a shield. It's some sort of like a mace. It looks like a shield. Um, but I don't want to show the items on this, on this, you don't want to get spoiled, or like, where do you want to find it, and stuff like that. Yeah. Anyways, uh, you can check out my board for that, yeah. So, what I was saying is that, like, as we progressed, and as we have taken especially the Wire's Might, which is like the charge, but it hits out of his mind, same goes, like, I have only single point into this, and it's capable of killing mon uh, monsters, still. At level 60. It's ridiculously hard hitting. And um, one more thing that I want to talk about this is that like this thing is converting the entire physical damage to fire. Just like that. You know, the entire thing converts to fire. That is something very good for my spec as well. I was going in between if I want to like max out the fire might or the judgment. I think at the end I decided judgment, but this is going to be a long, long procedure. So like Come late game, I might say, like, fuck the judgment now, or, or at the very least, you know, never mind the Heart of Wrath. Let's try to give more points into Wire's Might. Like, it, it, values are definitely going to change. So this is basically just what I came up with right now. And as we go, you know, an obstacle is going to come, and I'll be like, okay, to, like, go through this obstacle, I'm going to need to have some changes. Maybe those changes are going to, you know, push me to, like, put more points into Wire's Might. Who knows? Um, so I was saying about the clankiness, especially after taking the Wire's not Might, judgment these two especially and having a couple of points into reprisal the characters started feeling better the characters started feeling amazing <laughs> when i put 11 points into vindictive flame the cast speed you know the total speed in this game total speed means uh cast speed attack speed and movement speed so when i started getting attack speed cast speed and movement speed my characters started a lot more fluid uh, feeling a lot more fluid. 100% and right now it plays amazing like it definitely feels fun um, for sure for sure and just a little bit about the devos as well before I finalize it video I suppose one thing that I'm kind of like getting triggered is like that I, I have 8 points available right now I don't necessarily know if you can see it from yeah you can see it I have like 8 points available right now I don't know where to go. Like, I obviously have a lot of things that I would like to take. Like, I could, I could take Phoenix. You know, I really like Phoenix. It's a tanky thing. I could take a few points into like Shield Maiden if I wanted to. There's some value points that we can click all around the place. Something like this if I wanted to. You know, ridiculously tanky character that would make it to. Um. But why am I not doing it? The simple reason is because like I don't have a tier three constellation. It was kind of like triggering me. <laughs> I have like very valuable things, you know what I mean? I have only two tier ones, a Viper and like Lotus. And those are like very good tier ones. This this one is resist reduction, like holy shit, you know what I mean? This this is like arguably okay as well. It goes well, it goes pretty well with my spec, simply because of like the healing effects increase. They are stacking healing effects increase pretty much. Hmm. And then look at the rest, like every single one of them is like tier 2. And they are pretty pretty good constellations too, like the Bard's Harp, the high, this Hyrian by the way, like, it is so good you guys. It is incredibly good. If you're playing like an elemental guy, um, or if you're playing like, um, Retaliation I would say is okay as well. I mean, it is, it is using 70% weapon damage as well, fuck the elemental, like you can even go for this like with anything, but I'll probably go for it if I'm having a shield, I suppose. I don't know. Not really sure. Because it does have like a couple of shield nodes as well. Yo, elemental and shield is like the maximum maximum value that you can take out from this. But this is my by far the favorite constellation right now in the game, I think. Followed by Bard's Harp as usual. Definitely.
So yeah, yeah, I was saying like we have the Rowan crown, we have like the Harvestman just just got buffed a little bit, tiny little bit. Gives quite a lot of like percentage stuff. Percentage stuff I started messing around quite a bit in this game right now. I want to like stack up percentages so that it tries to go, go out of hand, you know what I mean? Same. So yeah, with these 8 points I don't necessarily know where to go. So <laughs> I'll keep you guys posted. It's probably gonna get updated. The best thing that I would have gotten is like the Alzheimer torch, but I cannot build up to it. <laughs> we'll see. Yo, I'm completely losing my voice. I'm gonna get some snacks. It's like 2:30 a.m. and I'm gonna finish this video with a sellout. Actually, I'm going to be online um, every single day. I'll also try and make like not only uploads from the stream to the YouTube, but at the same time I'll make a little bit of YouTube um content as well and this type of content that you just watched is ridiculously easy for me to do to, um compared to like the regular youtube video like a guide this is a lot more compact and uh, a lot more straight to the point even though you know my content is never to the point <laughs> but um yeah so um the sellout part of the, of the video was that like come hang out on the stream i would very much appreciate it if you enjoy watching twitch and uh you just like um check me out i'm streaming like every day from uh europe noon and that is like in the middle of the night i suppose at the u.s time uh very maybe very early in the morning or something like that and we go for some time and we're going to be you know we're going to be like slowly messing around i think i'm going to be doing like various different things we're going to be like creating some characters doing like some 1 to 50 videos we'll most likely be checking out shattered realm at some point if i ever have like a strong ish character since we reset it the account it will most likely take a while but I don't necessarily want to rush and consume everything at the same time anyway. So I really enjoy creating new characters. We'll most likely end up theory crafting quite a bit as well. And uh, I'll try and bring those theory crafted characters to this type of content to YouTube. Uh, my question to you is, uh, did you enjoy this video? Um, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you later, probably tomorrow. Peace out, YouTube. Have a good night.